Hey guys, what do you think I'm going to be doing today with pop bottles, zip ties, hay twine, and old expired dog food. I'm out in my back pasture and behind me, I don't think, yeah, you guys can see, I have tons of crawfish mounds out here. My neighbor has a pond and the creek's right next to him. Up at the road, we also have like just a very small drainage ditch that our gutters drain out to. And there's crawfish mounds all around there. So we know for a fact, we've actually picked up crawfish off the, just the pasture grass here. So I know that there's crawfish here. Just whether or not I can catch them is a different story. So you guys stick around because I'm going to show you guys now how I'm making those crawfish traps. So I originally thought I was going to build one just the standard way, like a pillow net case with um, either some sturdy uh, plastic fencing material or chicken wire. But then I, as I was looking up exactly how people make those, um, I found a guy that made crawfish traps out of um, plastic bottles. And I was like, well, that's even easier. So all I'm doing is I'm cutting the top lid off. I'll show you guys as I go. which if you um, have been following me for any time, I'm basically an expert at this with all my winter sewing that I've done. So it's not too hard to do. It's much easier with, uh, I've learned with a straight edge than to do it with scissors. So the thought process is the cap will be off, bait will be inside, and um, I'm gonna zip tie these together so that I can easily undo it to shake out any crawfish that we catch in there. So growing up in Louisiana when I was a little girl, I, every single April, May, March, April, May, I can't remember exactly. For some reason it feels like May. Um, we would, we had a huge, huge, I guess you would call it a drainage ditch. We just called it a ditch. A huge ditch that ran it across the front of our yard. Um, because of course it floods down there a lot. And we would just, I would take the wagon, like, you know, your little Red Rider wagon out to the ditch and I would get a lawn chair that I could set inside the ditch. And I had a string and a pack of hot dogs. And I would um, stick a little stick through the hot dog so I could string that hot dog on a string and I would just drop it in the crawfish mounds which typically came up at least level to the water sometimes they were under the water so you'd have to just get it right just right and I would drop that string down in there and you could immediately fill, fill them hold on and crawfish do not let go once they're a hold of something and you'd pick them out drop them in the wagon I don't know how many times I brought up crawfish to mom's house to the kitchen and asked her to cook them for me. <laughs> Can I help you? Yeah. The grass is all mowed. Good. I was just about to tell him you're not the biggest fan of crawfish, right? No, I don't really like them. We're feeding them this old dog food. Yeah, but you'll you'll eat them, right? Or you just don't like them at all? I don't really like it at all. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome to catch all you want. We love them. So, I mean, um, the kids, any time that they caught them when they were kids up here in Michigan, I even if it was two or three, I more than welcomed them learning to like them and cook them. I need, like, holes through here. Yeah? So I can zip tie them together. Anyway, and you guys want to know a really crazy story. I've been trying to find a way to tell you this story, and nothing ever came up that made sense. And I have lots of examples like this. So this is just the first of probably five examples. You know what I want to say? No. He no, doesn't. I don't know. But he knows the story. I'm not sure if you're going to tell him about Abigail eating that snake. No, 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 no. Oh. So where I used to crawfish growing up, just uh, across the street and like down the street a little bit was, I mean, it was just 
like literally kind of almost exactly where I'm going to take you to go crawfish in today, was our creek. And it was Sandy Creek. And uh, sheer sand, beautiful creek. We played in it every single summer. Every single summer. Mom going to the creek. Mom going fishing to the creek. And when we moved to this property, I don't even think I knew that there was a creek here. And um, Todd mentioned it maybe sometime during that year, like, oh, you want to go look at the creek? I'm like, isn't it just a ditch? He's like, no, it's a creek. Guys, it's called Sandy Creek. <laughs> How crazy is that? There are so many examples just like that, that I was like, this property was like predestined for me to, as a child, to live here. Yeah. So I can't wait to share all those kind of stories with you guys. So I'm not gonna go crazy overboard with the zip ties. I'm just gonna use four for each lid. And um, you can use, if you're interested in crawfishing yourself, you can use absolutely anything for bait. Any, like, don't use anything good. Use whatever you have that's, like, bad on hand. Like, if you're chicken processing and you've got extra guts, like, in, laying around, or, you know, you went fishing and you've got fish guts laying around. Anything that's super stinky, um, old nasty hot dogs in the freezer that are freezer burned. Um, like I said, this dog food expired 2018. So it's just been sitting in the pantry waiting for a purpose and a use. And this is a perfect use for it. While Todd's getting ready with that, I've got old hay baling twine. I'm just gonna tie ends together so that I can get a long enough rope. I am 100% tomboy. There is nothing about me that's very girly. I'm gonna show them how much you cut off. So Todd decided to just go ahead and cut me a bigger hole off. This one's a little smaller. I mean, I don't think Michigan's got very big monster crawdads, but just in case. Thanks. All right, so I'm gonna go grab some rocks real quick and throw it in there. I just don't think that my dog food's gonna be quite heavy enough to bait it down, or weigh it down, I should say. There we go. See how big that hole is? Yes, I just don't wanna make a mess. Looks like perfectly good dog food stuff. Alrighty. Are we supposed to use like rat and fish? No, the guy I was just telling him, the guy I watched did it just like I did with a, as a kid, chopped up hot dogs. Mmm. Yummy crawfish. All right, let's go set these traps. Push that down the fill with water. 
Somehow made a slip knot. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll check back in a couple days and I'll let you guys know if we caught any crawfish.